Welcome back to video 12.9. We're looking at our visual learning bridge. Anna uses a string to help measure the worm. Is her work precise? Why or why not? What can I do to measure precisely? I can choose units and tools that will help me measure more precisely. Measure precisely. Estimate first. Choose a tool. Start at zero. Measure twice. Write the unit. Anna lines up the string along the ruler to measure the length. Then Anna measures the worm again to check her work. Then she writes the length. The worm is about three inches long. Anna uses precision to measure and write the units. How does using a string help Anna use precision to measure the worm? Well, Anna can bend the string to match the shape of the worm. She can straighten the string to measure the length into inches. So that makes it easy to be precise. So let's write something down. Take a minute, pause the video, and then you can write down the convince me. Okay, let's look at our guided practice. It says Beth measures the crayon and says it is five centimeters long. Is her work precise? Explain. Hmm, it looks like she's doing a good job, but we need to look at where she's lining up her crayon. And if we look here, she's not lining it up on the zero. So we're gonna say, no, her work is not precise. No, her work is not precise. She did not line up the crayon at the zero mark. Okay, go ahead and pause the video again and write that down and when you are done you can go ahead to your independent practice and problem solving and finish that up for the day upload it to Google Classroom and you will have a wonderful day after that see you soon